What is the smallest amount of power you've seen? Go to someone's head. I had to interview a guy who is president of the Cha Cha Dancing Club at my university, Chachaloco. When I asked for his full name, he scoffed. You don't know who I am? I said no, I was just a reporter for the school newspaper. He then said, I'm first name middle name second Spanish middle name last name, president and financial executive of Chachaloco. If you haven't heard of me yet, you must live under a rock. Years ago I was the night manager of a gas station. I was pretty much just a glorified assistant manager which basically meant I was in charge when the actual manager wasn't around. There was a girl, let's call her Jill, who thought no one worked as hard as her despite calling in sick once a week and generally required constant supervision to keep her from goofing off. Jill was working a shift that overlapped my shift and the manager's shift. After I said my hellos to the day manager and he left to go home for the day I went about setting up for the day. Jill comes bursting out of the back room full of piss and vinegar and loudly proclaimed alright, listen up. The day manager put me in charge tonight, so you have to follow everything I say. I found out that from the day manager the next day that he had jokingly told her okay Jill, I'm leaving. You're in charge of making sure BW underscore bird doesn't slack off on his way out, and she took this as an unofficial promotion. She spent the rest of her shift constantly looking over my shoulder and criticizing everything I did. She refused to follow through with anything I asked her to do because she thought she was in charge, so I no longer had the authority to tell her what to do. The day manager actually had to sit her down and explain that she was not promoted and still a regular employee. Although by this time she had already contacted her father and told him she was the new night manager at the point. Rank. I'm in the military and some people think their rank is like Thor's hammer. We had this one guy get promoted to first lieutenant from second lieutenant in my first assignment. Basically a 100% promotion rate for that rank. And that day started to order all the other LTS around and telling them to call him sir, etc. Ardu put him in his place pretty quickly, but it's amazing what a bar on your shoulder or stripe on your arm can add to an ego. I used to be an admin on a Minecraft server where, after you played for 10 hours you would get the rank member, which gave you access to a couple new commands. Some really annoying 10 year old thought that it was a huge achievement when he got that, and he started acting superior to all the moderators and threatening them. I talked to him over Skype about it, and he started screeching at me and saying that he fucked my mom. I banged him permanently. Make sure your kids know how to act semi-maturely before you let them play online in any game. Some shitty admin on a freelancing website. He used to be the lowest of the low, always helping me out. He then got promoted to head customer support agent within weeks he had removed my top rated seller status because I complained that he wasn't doing his job properly. I asked for the reasons. He said he does not have time to give me the reasons. Income plummeted by £1,000 a month, costing me my house. Cheers man. Glad you got fired a few months later for incompetence. Our high school had four custodians. One retired and the next in line was promoted to head custodian. Both the student body and staff knew it had gone to his head when he posted an announcement regarding locker inspections for interior cleanliness, replete with a schedule of days slash times to show up for his mandatory inspections. Apparently, he took it upon himself without the administration's authorization, because we heard about it only through him, not from official notification by the principal. I run a guild on an MMO, and I was in need of some new officers to help around, when I couldn't get on. There was this one guy who got on often, played the game well and ran events, so we naturally promoted him to officer. At first it was alright, but then he started mailing me about players underperforming, and when he was going to rank up, I told him that the guild is pretty casual, so if someone is underperforming give them tips, and if they don't listen just don't run with them, and how he probably won't rank up considering he was the highest rank besides guild master. He got super upset, and left the guild. I'm going to speak on behalf of a tiny number of subordinates I had at a fast food restaurant I worked at a few years back. I had 15 years of food service experience when I was hired as a general grunt, register, and kitchen. I did my best to cook ground beef till it was done, 
wash surfaces between different foods prepped, and take all normal, expected precautions to serve tasty, not burnt, not contaminated food. I was appalled at how little care everyone else took. They would set freshly made burgers on surfaces still red with raw meat blood, cut raw chicken and use the same knife to cut finished prep, etc. They would serve the food undercooked right alongside burnt fried food. I wasn't making a lot of money and I know they weren't either, but it wasn't just whatever, we a minimum wage attitude, it was sad, because the public really liked the food, when it was done right, and we were very popular, very lucky they never made anyone sick. When I was promoted to assistant manager, the first thing I did, was start to correct, gently at first, and then with more firmness, and then finally with sending people home, often I made it, so I had to work two jobs at once. The worst part is, that my crew complained to the manager, until she made up fake reasons to terminate me, so I got a new job and quit, before they had the chance. The reason wasn't, that they didn't like me, or that I did a bad job. The complaint I heard over and over is that he's, been on some huge stupid power trip ever, since he got promoted, it's pathetic. I never ate there again not out of spite, but because crew and management conspired to get rid of me, because I didn't think you should serve a burger on a bun, that has been sitting in a puddle of chicken blood, and they disagreed. Anyone who has been in a fraternity will know that when a newly initiated brother is given the slightest amount of power it's an instant power trip. Perfect example being our new parliamentarian basically the person responsible for handing out fines. He threatened to send my $1 fine to collections, if I didn't pay it for cursing in a chapter meeting. I told him to fuck himself with a cactus. I paid the fine though. The guy who was the manager at the Burger King I worked at, when I was a teenager. We had to get prior approval from him, if we wanted to get a haircut, or dye our hair, or pierce our ears. Tattoos were forbidden, even if they were hidden. If he found out you had one, he'd find an excuse to fire you. Same if you weren't Christian. He would also drive by our houses, to make sure the pit crews weren't fraternizing with the managers or assistant managers on our off hours. I heard he's a cop now. He'll probably show up on the news someday for shooting a black man for jaywalking or something. In 7th grade one of our teachers would ask a student, to keep an eye on the room, if he needed to step out for a moment. Mostly the kids were happy to stand in front of the room and watch everyone read, or work on a quiz for a few minutes, and felt great about their responsibility. One time the teacher stepped out, and gave the responsibility to Brian, while we started a test. I asked out loud, if anyone knew the date. Brian yelled at me not to talk during a test, that talking was cheating, grabbed the test off my desk, and ripped it in half. I'm not joking. He actually tore it in half. When the teacher came back Brian told the teacher he had stopped me from cheating, and gave him my ripped up test, that only had my name written on it. The other students spoke up in my defense. Teacher told Brian he had done well, in making sure no one talked, but he was going to let me do the test anyway. Parent Teacher Association. This lady was crazy. Threw a big fit, because someone brought peanut butter cookies to a meeting and her kid is allergic to peanuts, her kid wasn't at the meeting. So she goes on this tirade and ends up getting her kid's class, to be nut free which sucks, because my kid loves peanut butter sandwiches. Find out later, that her kid isn't allergic, she just doesn't like nuts. Also tried to find people for not helping with a fundraiser. The week of the event she wanted everyone there for like 4 hours every night. I went for 2 hours one night, and it was a joke. Just her walking around barking insane orders. I told her to suck it, and I never went back. She said she was going to find me, and I said mail it to my lawyer. I don't think he ever got the bill. I went to a rugby game a few weeks back, and I assumed this guy was the bar manager at one of the overpriced liquor windows they have at the stadium. He looked like a fatter, balding, older, toady looking version of a poor man's Josh Gad. He was just lingering around the queues, finding young women to take up to the front of the queue with an obsequious madam. Here you go, yes, come up to this line, his pisshole in the snow eyes darting around looking for someone fresh to lord it over. Or perhaps a blowfly to snack upon. When he wasn't busy belittling his bar staff, and let's face it, bar staff at a stadium aren't exactly pick of the crop as a general rule but hey, we all need an income, he was just itching, 
possibly physically, to find some customer he could fuck up the day of by telling them that they looked drunk, and could only buy one drink at a time instead of four. I saw him get his way a few times, and his face just took on a kind of glow, not unlike the glow you might expect from the sight of massive skin infection. I've never felt such scorn for someone I don't know, but I know my instincts were on point when I got back to my seat and the stranger next to me overheard me talking about Toady and felt the need to put in his own chassis about this sad little man. My former university is admin. I studied computer science and my laptop was pretty weak. I used to work all night, weekends and preferred working out of the it labs computers. This a asterisk hole of an it admin. The typical reddit neck bud, fat, slobby, know it all dipshit had weird rules. In the bitter cold of us northeast he had a rule that stated nobody could eat inside the computer labs. Since I worked there all day and night, I would usually keep my sandwich with me and eat it after 11pm. One night this mongrel was taking a stroll in the corridor, saw me eating my sandwich. Told me either I throw it out or he was going to lock my account to the department network. I tried reasoning with him, and said I will close it, and put it in my backpack, he insisted I throw it, because otherwise I might come back, and eat it, when he's not around. It was the moment I felt the most helpless in my life. I couldn't afford to get locked out the department lab, since I had some huge program running whose results were due soon. I couldn't afford to throw away a $7 sandwich as I was a foreign student here on scholarship. It was a snowy midnight in December, when I did not have any option to go buy myself anything else. I succumbed to his threat, went and trashed my sandwich in front of his eyes. He gave me a dirty grin and left. I felt helpless, alone and lost. I had nobody to go and talk my heart out. I was almost in tears at my own miserable situation. I hated my life back then. Once I volunteered to be a vest for a parade. Basically, I got a brightly colored vest and a bicycle to help keep people behind the parade route lines, help floats if they got into trouble, misc stuff like that. I got beer tokens as payment. After the parade was over, I turned in my vest, got my beer tokens, and went to the party at the end of the route. I got to the long ass line for cheap beer, and opened my mouth, and took a deep breath. Okay so, I'd just spent 4 hours using my loud ass voice to shout at people. Now that it was over, shouting at people and watching them do what I said had become some surreal form of normal. I exhaled, closed my fucking mouth, and waited in line like a human being. Basically, being a parade volunteer made me think I had the power to cut in line for beer, but my meat brain kicked into gear just before I made an ass of myself. Most surreal moment of my life. We promoted a call center employee to shift manager. She was a nice, dependable, hardworking, and pleasant girl. Within days she was hiding behind potted plants trying to catch people looking at their cell phones, against policy to have them on the floor, and reported one person, because her phone vibrated in her purse. She would time breaks, bathroom and scheduled, just itching for someone to return late. This chick suddenly got semi-orgasmic at the thought of getting others in trouble. We moved her to an administrative position and eventually fired her. I had a friend in another city, who was living in a shitty room and board situation and I wanted to move there, so we decided to get a place together. I gave him my share of the damage deposit and first month's rent. He lived there, so he found the place. He put his name on the tenancy agreement, so he figured he was my landlord, and he was in charge of every little thing in the house. I needed work, so I helped the landlord in some renovations. We had a leak and a minor flood for the equivalent value in free rent which really pissed him off because I was going over his head and interfering with his future legal case against the landlord, which never happened. He hoarded the mail key, so I needed permission to get my mail. Eventually I lost it on him and demanded to get my name on the place on paper or I would leave, so he evicted me. The next month he had to move out because he couldn't afford the place. My old friend opened his own tattoo shop. Experienced success and soon had the most popular shop in town. We live in an artsy city, and people started recognizing him out, and being like I love your work. I'd like to get a tattoo. He thought he was some celebrity, that could act in any way he pleased. He started partying constantly, then wound up being an alcoholic meth addict, that is now in prison. 
Another guy around here was co-owner of a whiskey distillery and thought that he was a god. I remember waiting in line to get into this bar. They were having a big show. So they closed their doors at 6 o'clock to prepare, then reopened at 8 o'clock. He thought that they should let him in, and then got further pissed that they made him wait in the line. Twitch TV channel moderators. So to preface this was early 2014, and I was watching a rather large stream, over 10k viewers, and the streamer was joking around, and was like, if I lose this, I'll make a random person mod well he lost, and I got picked. So his stream went on, and not much happened to me, I don't talk and chat much, so it won't, like I was waving the mod icon around, or trying to troll the stream's chat, but I did time out a few guys spamming for 30 seconds, well after his stream I get a message from one of the mods telling me basically don't go thinking you're a real mod here I worked for months, and have dedicated countless hours to his stream, blah blah blah. And you're just a poser I replied saying something to the effect of hey mods name I never meant to cause any issues I just won a random drawing for it and I know it isn't for real and that I won't be modded for long he then replied something like whatever you better not be getting any ideas you're not a real mod so don't act like one. At this point I have just forgotten about this and go to watch another smaller streamer and him talking in chat normally and bam I'm perm banned from talking in chat and guess what? The mod that got upset with me was in the chat. He ended up banning me in every chat he modded of people I followed, mostly WoW streamers, so I got banned in 80% of the chats of channels I watched. I got unmanned in most the streams by another popular mod, who heard my case, and ended up getting that mod, to message the streamer to demod me, so the harassment would stop for over 3 months after this, because I frequented the same channel. Some small, but it didn't, so I inevitably had to start a new account.